Aver's new one-to-one -one classroom environment solution. The new class student engagement feature that allows teachers and students both to interact with document camera lesson content. Sphere 2's class feature can send captured lesson content directly to students' Chromebooks, iPads, tablets, or notebooks directly over Wi-Fi. Here's how it works. Assuming the notebook is fully charged or plugged into a power source, power up by pressing the on button. Ensure that the notebook is connected to the same Wi-Fi network that the student's tablets are connected to. Next, locate the Sphere 2 icon on the desktop and select it. The Sphere 2 software will launch, displaying a predominantly black window. If a visualizer is not connected message appears on the main window, you will have to connect the tag pan to the proper Wi-Fi network. In the upper left corner under the reddish-orange Sphere 2 label is a small icon of a grid containing nine small squares. Mousing over the icon reveals a media library label. Select this icon. A panel containing four tabs appears. Select the class tab. Within the left side panel, locate the select class icon. Press that icon to start the class teaching activity. After selecting that icon, a display resembling a chalkboard will appear with a number of door icons representing the teacher's selection of topics or classes. Open a class by selecting one of the icons. The chalkboard display will go away and on the left side panel under the class tab will be populated with icons of the students assigned to the class you selected. The students icons or avatar will appear darkened until they log on to the class using their class and equipped tablets. To view an individual student's profile, select the class management icon. Then select the all student icon on the new pop-up window. Now select the students icon. The students will need their student ID number and the optional class password if that was provided by the instructor. By selecting the class management icon, a new chalkboard window appears containing an all students icon along with the various classes door icons. At the bottom are the management controls, add class, cloud storage, teacher profile, and exit. Next, assuming the Chromebook or tablet is fully charged or plugged into a power source, power up by pressing the on button. Ensure that the device is connected to the same Wi-Fi network that the teacher's platform is connected to. Navigate to the screen or taskbar containing the Class Send icon and select that. The Class Send display will appear with icons representing available classes. The class created and chosen by the teacher's Sphere 2 software will be highlighted. Other classes should be grayed out. If none of the class icons are highlighted, please ensure that the student's tablets and the teacher's notebook are connected to the same Wi-Fi network and that a class has been selected by the teacher. Select the highlighted class and a login window will appear. The student will now need to enter their ID. If a password was selected for the class, a password entry will be displayed. Enter the appropriate password to validate the student's participation in the class. If the login was correct, the class in chalkboard window will be displayed with control icons. The student is now logged into the teacher's class and is ready to receive content. Ensure that the tab cam, the teacher's device with Sphere 2, and the student's devices are all connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Above the main window, there are four tabs, Media Library, Whiteboard, Side-by-Side, -side, and Visualizer. Ensure that the Sphere 2 is displaying the streaming image from the tab cam under the Visualizer tab. Ensure that the icon of the student who is logged in is highlighted. Now place the tab cam over an object to display and present to the class. Under the main display windows are several control icons, camera controls, annotation, recording, capture and presentation tools. Selecting the camera controls allows manual configuration of various camera features. Selecting annotation provides numerous drawing, highlighting, writing and selection tools. Selecting recording starts the recording of all actions taking place on the screen and being captured by the camera. Selecting capture takes a screenshot of the whole display and stores it to the media library. Selecting presentation tools allows the use of various masking and reveal tools for hiding or showcasing various portions of the display. By selecting the side-by-side -side tab, Sphere 2 can be used to display multiple live cameras, up to three cameras or webcams, or images. A total of six frames can be displayed simultaneously. Notice that the annotation tools are displayed on the display's bottom edge. To display multiple cameras, select the multi-camera pull-down menu and select the number of cameras that you wish to display simultaneously. Sphere 2 will automatically detect additional cameras. 
Try to connect or display them in separate frames. To display still images, select the Image tab on the left side under the Media Library panel. A list of icons will appear showing images in the Media Library. Simply drag and drop an image into the main side-by-side -side viewing area and a frame with the image will appear. One can manipulate the size of each frame by dragging its sides. To modify the contents or delete any of the frames, select the frame and a set of frame control tools will appear at the bottom edge. Annotation features can be used across all viewing panes. Modify the lesson display contents using the various annotation and presentation tools. Select the Class tab from the left Media Library panel. In the upper right of the side-by-side -side frame is an icon representing several students. By selecting this icon, you can send the current display to each student that has logged into the class. Notice that the upper left icon among the student's profile icons in the class tab is changed to a thumbnail of the current display that was sent to the students. A notification will appear within the student's class send software indicating that something was sent to them. Click and save. The content sent from the teacher will be displayed in the student's class send chalkboard. Students can now use their annotation and image input tools to modify or add content to what was sent to them. They can even take a screenshot of the current display and save it to their media library. Students can then send their contributions to the teacher using the Send to Teacher button. When a student sends their work to the teacher, Sphere 2 will indicate this by changing the student's profile icon to the thumbnail of what was received. The teacher can drag the thumbnail into the side-by-side -side viewing area to display what the student has sent. The teacher can also acknowledge the student's work by clicking on the student's thumbnail and then selecting the thumbs up icon. When the thumbs up is selected, a message is sent to the student stating, good job, you got a thumbs up. Acknowledgements are tallied for each student and then can be used for classroom award or rewards program. The whiteboard mode allows for step-by-step -step instructions, questions, or special text to be viewed independent of the document camera. Select the whiteboard mode from the top view frame control tabs. Modify the whiteboard by using the various annotation and presentation tools. Select the Class tab from the left Media Library panel. Selecting the Send to Student icon will send the current whiteboard to each student that has logged into the class. The students will now receive the whiteboard content on their one-to-one -one device. Students can now provide their contribution to the class by using the Class Send annotation tools. Once the students have made the contributions, they can now send it back to the teacher. Now the student, the teacher, and the class can view that document for discussion or for corrections. For more information on our software suite and other products, please visit us at www.averusa.com. Also remember to bookmark the page. Class Send is available on iTunes, Google Chrome, and Android devices.